when it gets to 50. You're there. Okay. The heck out of dragging a compressor around. on YouTube now? I think so. Field day, this is where you want to have the kids on hand too to be doing the pumping for you. Well, I'm going to go so little, little, little pump, you know, get one of those little 12 on deals. Yeah. Got to get a downrange shot too, if possible. Be like following a golf ball. part about this is having to go get the uh, projectile. Uh, up in the bucket. 6,500 feet in the bucket. And it feeds out of the, uh, out of the bucket. And, uh, it doesn't look all like, um, Line can hold four times its own weight with moisture. Electrical cable through uh, large conduits. Yeah. 
I followed you just to see how far this thing went. I think we got <laughs> That doesn't look like you knocked any squirrels out of the trees, so that's a good sign. On, uh, on the antenna deployment device. Tell me when to get to 50. You're there. Freak people out and wore turbans when we came out here to this field with this thing. Push, push up in the airplane. <laughs> okay. It did get through quite a ways down. batteries are in there, got three, three nine volt batteries. Quite in serious. Okay, this is uh, our antenna deployment device. It's uh, basically 10 feet of 2 inch PVC pipe, a lawn sprinkler control valve, a Schrader valve for pressurizing the chamber, uh, pressure gauge, and what is left of a weed whacker handle for the trigger mechanism. Price of about $25, $30 right now. Some of the stuff is left over at home. But, um, what I bought at Home Depot was the two-inch PVC pipe and the um, the valve. I think you are now the official DuPage County Amateur Radio Club antenna launcher because <laughs> this thing is really neat. Tell me when to get to 50. You're there. <laughs> <laughs> 